<laughs> hey guys, young 40 mom. Um, as you know, I've been under the weather, but I did manage to get, um, uh, some filming in this morning. Um, let's see. Ooh, we're gonna spin you around. Ooh, different line. I got a new camera. Can you tell? It's really, really cool. Um, you're my guinea pigs. <laughs> so I'm trying out new stuff. Uh, wow, it's really showing me in this light, isn't it? Interesting. Oh, let's get a full view. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, so this tutorial, oh, tutorial, this video is going to be, um, some cross stitch whips, a couple of cross crochet whips. Um, I answered two, ta two small tags, and then at the end, you're going to see, um, um, another whip that I had forgotten about. Um, and then explaining to the tag. So I'm doing coffee stitchers tag from February that I'd forgotten about. Carolyn did it, <clears throat> and I had forgotten all about it. I think I had done it before, but I, I, I think my answers probably have changed as we evolve over the year. Um, and then the other one that I answered was um, <sighs> D-Stitchers six-month year review. Uh, because they were short, because I went kind of long in the tooth with everything else, so I'm postponing my other ones yet again. Um, but when I printed out all the questions, there's like six pages. I show that to you as well. But anyway, so let's get started. Oh, okay. We're recording. Hey guys, Young 40 Mom, coming to you from my beautiful craft room. Um, there are many, many tags that I have missed, um, and I'm trying to catch up. As most of you have known, I have been sick, then Maddie got sick, and then I got sick again. So I haven't been on camera much. Um, of course I don't get on camera much anyway. <laughs> but, that's probably about to change. Um, I got a new camera, new tripod, um, and you say, how does she do this without a job? Ah. Easy pay QVC. <laughs> anyway, um, I keep looking down because and it looks like there might be a delay. I don't, I'm hoping the volume's good on this. If not, I'm going to have to probably get a little cheapy microphone. That's what most YouTubers suggest you do. Um, I'm remoting you from here. This is how I'm controlling you. If you can see me inside of me. Um, there's an app and it's showing a delay on my phone so I don't know if you're actually getting the delay this is this is a this is a test um, if you will okay wow you can really see the gray oh <gasps> wow okay note to self wear your hair down so the gray's just on the side instead of all over okay um, I want to show you this. I am going to do a, a, a whip update, um, some finishes, and of course y'all know I do more than just cross stitch, but, um, <coughs> I have been doing a little bit of crocheting here lately, because when I'm sick, I, I don't want to concentrate on the, the little tiny things. I just want to stitch in hand, and I, that's what I do. Um. I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. I can't zoom with my other camera. Oh, ooh, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Oh, well. Well, now you can kind of see the books in review that I'm going to be doing from my library for the <laughs> for the review Wednesday. Um, okay, we're still filming. I just can't for some reason... Uh, There we go. Zoom you back in. I apologize. You guys are... Oh, stop it! Wow. Okay, now see, I'm not liking that. That... Oh, see, now you can see. <laughs> you can see everything. Okay. I'm try from there. I'm learning. You're like Xavier, you're beginning to fix. Okay, so, I do want to show you this. Um, I meant to bring my tacky finger in here. I don't like licking my lip. I'm licking my fingers. Okay. So, you can see this, 
All right. These are tags. Let's see if I can get you in focus. Tag. Tags. Tags. Oops. Tags. <laughs> Tag. I got six pages of tags. So I'm going to knock out the first page, <clears throat> which is going to be um, Pam Reed's stitching style tag. Um, after I show you my whips and my... I don't have any completes. Um, like I said, I've been sick and stuff. Okay, um, I'm going to mix it up. So, uh, one of my cousins asked if I would, um, had sent me a picture on Facebook and said that her husband's grandmother um, had made her some uh, scrubby pads for her dishes. Um, and asked me, sent me a picture and asked me if I could do something like that. Um, in my book and review last Wednesday, I showed you one of my, um, cross-stitch, I mean, one of my crochet books, um, that shows you how to make washcloths. What I did was I bought, oh, I went to my local Michaels, because that's my only stitching outlet. The only craft stores we have in Cleveland are, or in my town, uh, are michaels and hobby lobby that's it we don't have any specialty stores we don't have an lns i wish we did um chattanooga has joann's the ac more there uh closed down oh that's my uh, cancer foundation cup that i got last year that's support <coughs> but anyway okay so uh, so I bought two yards of tool, um, and thought I would see what I could do with that. I made myself one for mine, and it, I love it. I love it. I love how it scrubs. It, I don't have to worry about my, um, my non-stick pans, because it is a type of nylon. Um, it is tool. So, for this one, I guess I do have finishes. <laughs> Just not in cross stitch. Uh, <laughs> my, uh, this one I had... Um, folded it in half and did a running stitch around the edge of it. No, no, I'm sorry. I did a single crochet around the edge of it. Um, and then just tucked in the little things that were st sticking out. Anyway, so what I did was I took two yards of fabric. And next time, I didn't realize you can get tool on a spool. Um, I've never worked with tool before, but I thought that would be a great scrubbing agent for dishes and not have to worry about, um, any type of scraping. Um, and these things work great because you can throw them in the washer. But anyway, can't dry them though. They melt. I think it's a type of plastic. <coughs> so what I did was I took my sewing scissors, which are just for sewing. Let me show you. These things are heavy duty stainless steel cut you scissors. They're really good. But anyway, I use them only for my fabrics. So I got those out. And I started at one corner, and I had this thing, I'm not kidding, I had this thing all over me. And the cat was having a heyday. So I would pull it up, and I wish I'd videotaped it, because oh, I'd have to do it in fast speed, because it's just ridiculous. <clears throat> so I cut on the edge, and went around the corner. And then I'd pull it around. And then I'd go cut on the edge, and I'd cut a good two and a half, three inch strip. Go around the corner. And I did that with two yards of fabric. If you guys have ever worked with fabric before, this it's a lot. Uh, so I kept doing that around, 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 around until I had a pile. And then I rolled it up into a ball. Um, <clears throat> and then I crocheted with it that way. And I will never do that again. Um, I have done that with plastic. And it's a lot easier to work with than the tool. <clears throat> so, anyway. That being said, that's... Uh, that's how I did that. Um, so I made, this looks kind of like a, um, let's see if we can get that in camera. It looks sort of like a um, uh, piece of watermelon. But anyway, so I made that shape for her. And then I did two, um, like this, and I just did the, just did a single crochet around, skipped one, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, and then just zigzagged it around. So I made two of those and that. And then this is what that's all two yards of fabric made. It made these three 
and it made the one that I've got in my kitchen. That's it. So then I pulled out that book that I showed you last week. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I did one of the patterns, and I'm really pleased with this. I hope you guys can see the colors on this. It's really cute. I used my Sugars and Cream um, cotton, 100% cotton. So I thought this would be good. If she didn't want to use these for scrubbing anything, for washcloths, I, they are double thick, so she could use them as pot holders. But this one turned out... Oh, that is showing up really good. <gasps> we are loving this camera. So there, yeah, the colors are really good on that one. Um, and what you do is you just crochet, you follow the pattern, you crochet, I think it's 64 rows. Uh, 15 stitches across, 64 rows. And then you fold it and stitch it, fold it and stitch it, fold it and stitch it. And it comes out to be this. Yeah, it's really cute. So... The second one that I did, I had a big spool. You can't see it. It's up there. I, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. Hmm, no, you can't. You see the cat in the window, though. Oh, look. There's Ellie. Right there. Um, anyway. Oh, it went out of focus. Not focus back. Okay. Because <coughs> it was going on Ellie. So, then I did another one with uh, a, the, one of the bigger spools. <coughs> My two stores, Michaels and Hobby Lobby don't carry them anymore, um, Walmart does, now Walmart does carry yarns, they carry very scarce cross stitch stuff, I mean, if you were desperate in the middle of the night, that would be the place to go, but other than that, the, the selection sucks, but anyway, um, and yes, I said sucks, so I did another one, and I want you to look at the way the, the, the pattern on this variegated started coming out really cool. Can you see how this is? Right in here. Oh, not right there. Right there. Oh, now see, i got to get used to the fingering. Um, the way this, this came out right here. Shoot. This. I did not do that on purpose. It did it on its own. Now look at this side. Isn't that not the coolest, the way it came out? Like, it's like a graph. That one's like a back this way. This is parts like a graph and then this part, the way the variegated came out when I stitched it, is just really really cool. And that's just single crochet. That's it. So anyway, so they made those for her. That was my cross stitching project. I mean, my crochet. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so let me show you what I've been working on otherwise. Um, I joined the stitch along for in the Cross Stitches Fun Group, uh, the Patriotic. Um, I did start the, the sampler, but I don't have any update on it. Um, I got so far as sticking my needle in it. That, that was as far as I got. <coughs> Excuse me, I was waiting for some threads on that one. Um, and which is why once I finally got them, I was just so enthralled in this, I didn't want to put it down. In fact, I've got a needle sticking in that one. Okay, so um, for the patriotic stitch along that was around the first part of July or was the very end of June when it started. I can't remember the date exactly, but I decided to do um, the, let's see, it's, what is the name of it? God sheds his grace on thee. Let's see if you can see this. But this was the one I decided to do. <coughs> and it's from uh, Precious Moments, Sweet Land of Liberty, PM61. Uh, Pats by Gloria. Uh, Pats by Gloria. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this one. Uh, but this is how far I got. You can see I get her, got her dress. I still have to fill in a couple of stars with the white. But it's using the B... Is it B5200... 5200, I think, is the color, because it's, yes, B5200, which is supposed to be the bright white um, for the stars, and then I have to, all I have to do is fill in a few more stars, and then I have to do the outline on it, and then her, the bottom of her dress will be done. <coughs> Excuse me, but that, that's what I've been working on mostly. Um, put this over here, and... Since my last 
video on my whips. Take it out of Q-Snap. I, uh, oh, come on, baby. There we go. I was working on my, sorry, I'm cannot think. This is terrible. <laughs> my brain's not wanting to function properly. Plus, I'm still not over this. I'm still a little congested, but, <coughs> excuse me, and see, there we go. Okay, um, this is the, I think I've got this, I do have this upside down. Um, Abstract Curves. Um, I have since... Let's see. Pull another tape off. I have since... And yes, I do tape my projects. Um, I do not have time to pull out my sewing machine or whip. Um, I've used tape. I've always used tape. I've always used painter's tape. And I've never had a problem with it. Uh, maybe because I, I do not let them sit for any length of time in the tape. Because I work on my projects. I very rarely ever have any that sit for any length of time um <laughs> except for my little ditty over here which you can't see um is the uh no sub but i am i am gonna get on that one like as soon as i finish these or at least that's that's my plan okay so i don't have a picture um per se because this is one of my patterns and um I didn't print out the cover sheet on it, but if you order from my shop, you do get a cover sheet with a, a stitched picture. Um, so, uh, so if you're ever interested in showing them, okay, I just haven't printed them out. But anyway, um, let's see. I may have to, I may have to zoom out on this one. Let's see if I can bear with me, guys. Yay. Oh, there we go. If I just barely touch it, that's perfect. And I love, I'm liking the way the colors are showing up on here, too. <clears throat> okay, so I think the last time I showed you guys this, um, I had worked on, I'm trying to think. I think I worked on a little bit down here. Um, but I have since tried to fill this in. I'm doing it on 14 count. I will tell you now, I probably will never do this on 14 count again. <clears throat> just because it's so big. And again, like I told you, I, I'm going to turn this into a cushion. Um, but the colors are so vibrant. I'm really liking how it's turning out. It's it's really pretty. I, I, I like it. It's very simple. Um, any beginners out there, this is perfect for them. But... So all I have to finish is, let's see, I have to finish the side part here, and then there, a color here, finish, then the pink here, the blue here, and then the yellow here, and I believe that's it, and then finish the green. But anyway, so there's abstract angles. Um, I still have da -da -da, <laughs> my bag, my bag. Stitch Mania bag. Oh. They're putting gravel in my driveway. Anyway, I still have my Stitch Mania bag. Um, I am not worried to work on so many whips at one time. I, it, it, we'll discuss that during the during the tags. Anyway. <laughs> <coughs> oh goodness. Okay. Um. Cross Stitch Wise is the only two projects I've worked on since my last update. Um, I did sit in bed the other night and stitched up a bunch of my cupcake bottoms. For for those of you who follow me for the For Sale Friday, um, I make cups of coffee and cupcakes. Stitched, stuffed, kawaii, cups of coffee and cupcakes. Um, I do coordinate them and match them up now. Um, so if, say for instance show you this is a this is one of the uh, cupcake tops let's see if you can see that really good see if it's gonna oh look see now that is, that is good okay so this is the cupcake top and this is the bottom let's see if it'll show it really good 
But anyway, he gets a little face right here. And then the beads, I put glass, colored glass beads on top for sprinkles. I did make one with a cherry on top. Um, eventually these will go into my Etsy shop. But anyway, what I was going to say was, so you've got the cupcake. Da, 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 da. And then this is the cup of coffee. Well, it's not a cup of coffee. It has a handle. I don't have the handle on. And then inside you see the coffee. You can't see the coffee right now. But anyway, so they coordinate. So you can get a cup of coffee and with a cupcake. Um, I started doing coordinating sets. Um, these are not in my shop yet, but uh, they soon will be. So there, that's what I did the other night. Um, again, here's a muffin top with that I will do the... Uh, the glass beads for the sprinkles, and then this is the, <coughs> <coughs> my voice is changing, my tongue ring's getting stuck, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, so like I said, the coordinated colors, look at those colors, oh, the colors are coming out so good with this camera, I, I am loving this, okay, anyway, so that's what I did one night, my daughter wanted to watch Jurassic Park, because her father got her um, the Lego Jurassic Park, the day the Jurassic Park World, the fourth one, came out that Friday two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Um, it was around her birthday. Hmm. Anyway, I digress. When it came out at the movies, um, it also came out on PlayStation. So he splurged and got her the game. Because, <clears throat> you know, she's been huge into Legos. Ever since I got that rack, um, that lady sent me, uh, one of the little things she sent me was a little gift from Maddie, and it was her very first regular Lego set. Now, she had Duplos, like, going out of style. But she kept saying, Mom, I'm too old for Duplos. It says to age five, and I'm six. So, <laughs> I never got a regular regular Lego, so she got her first one from my from my random act of kindness that the my anonymous person sent me, um, which was really awesome. So she's been Legoing. She has Legos galore now because she told everybody that's what she wanted for her birthday, and so that's what everybody got her. Um, she is not Lego poor at all by any means. So anyway, so we watched, we were watching, she hadn't seen the Jurassic Parks, and she's eight now, so she felt like she was strong enough that she could watch it, and it's not too bloody, but there is killing, of course, because the dinosaurs eat the people. Um, so, and tear off limbs. Uh, nothing else. So, so we decided to put in the Blu-ray, we put in some, I have one, two, and three of the movies. So, since she's been playing the game, and she's already on level four, she decided she wanted to see and watch. She could watch the movies. So, it took us a few days, because she likes to talk during the movies. Mommy doesn't like talking during the movies. So, what I did was, uh, pulled out my, my yarn. Because I, I can do this with my glasses on, with my glasses off. It's just, it's just numbers. If, if you do any kind of amigurumi, you know what I'm talking about. It's just numbers. you just got to know how many rows, how many stitches to decrease, increase, go around. It's, it's just one stitch and just numbers. <coughs> so, I'd seen the movies over and over again. She hadn't seen them. So, we sat in my bed. I stitched while she watched. So, anyway. So, that's what I did. I made one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bottoms. Um, within an, I will say within an hour and a half period, maybe? one long at all okay so that's my whips um a couple of crochet finishes and now i'm going to i'm running out of time i don't want to spend too much time on this oh uh before i do a tag i do want to share with you um no you know what i think i'm going to wait and save this for another time i am going to save that for another time i'm going to get a drink because i'm very thirsty. Oh, <clears throat> I found this in my stash. Totally forgot I had it. And this is why people need to go through their stash. If you have collected over the years like I have. Um, I don't know if you can 
I don't know if I can pan you over there or not. I have a shelf over here. The bottom two shelves are Maddie's. I'll show you later. I'll un I'll have to unhook the camera and, and show you the, the, the over there. Anyway, the bottom two shelves are Maddie's. The top two shelves are mine. Because her area is behind me. And mine faces the windows. Because I need the lighting more than she does. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, so my cat had decided she wanted to redecorate over there. And decided to get on the third shelf. Uh, well, there was no room for the cat on the third shelf. Because she's getting really fat. Uh, so she just happened to knock this over. What are they doing over there? Oh, good grief. I hope you guys can't hear it. It's it's bugging the crap out of me. Okay, so anyway, so I found this. <clears throat> it's called Vinyl Weave by Crafters Pride. It is 14 count. It's called cross-stitch fabric, but it's, it's plastic. It's vinyl. And it has the little... I've never seen it with the separations before. I never... I didn't even realize I had this. Um, it's by Charter Publishing Company. Uh, washable... Easy to stitch, won't rip, ravel, or shrink. Um, so I thought maybe I could do some of these with my cups. They would be great for for like um, if you're going to do placemats. Kitty fur? No. Oh, that's part of it. Ooh, it's like a fiber. Interesting. Just it won't get off my hand. It's stuck. Anyway, um. So yeah. So there's. There's that, if you can see it. Vinyl Weave, Crafter's Pride. Let's see if that'll focus in. 14 count. I don't know what that is. 30200W. <clears throat> that would be the number. Cross stitch fabric. But yeah, it's vinyl. So that's pretty cool. I forgot I had that. <clears throat> don't know how I got it. I have to have inherited it somewhere. Or Anyway. Um, well, because that was. I took so long doing that other stuff. Um, let's do let's do a shorter tag because Pam's tag <coughs> now I will list you. I apologize. Next time I do one of these, I I won't be so still congested. Um it, it's one of those that's lingering, um, and my immune system is low, so I do not heal as quickly as I used to. Um, okay, so we have Pam Reed's Stitching Style Tag, which since it's longer, I'm going to put it on for now. Donna Murray's Curiosity Tag. It's only 10. We have Cindy's Unnormal, Unnormal Tag. That's Fishy Crafts, and she changed her name. She's not Fishy Crafts anymore. She's Fishy, Stitchy Fish, Fishy Stitch. Fishy Stitch. I can't remember. That's terrible. Okay, hers are only eight questions. Um, and then we have Angie's tag, who is no longer with us at the moment. We're hoping she'll come back. She was a stitch in time. Um, that was from January. I have um, Joanne B's tool time tag from July of last year. Yes, I'm terrible. I don't have my, my tools with me, so I can't do that one. Uh, and then Crazy Cat Crazy Creations, a.k.a. Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Did the Joy of Cross Stitch tag. Um, hers are only 10 as well, and <clears throat> she was one of, she was one of the ones that won in my, uh, last giveaway. Um, then we have Katie, which is also known as the Stash Queen, um, Stash Enhancement Tag. She has more stash than anybody I've ever seen in my life. Um, Coffee Stitcher did a tag back in February. It's only three little questions. Um, I think I'll go ahead and do that one and then do one of the smaller ones. So, all right. So, Garrett, coffee stitcher tag, February. It's just three questions. Um, one of them is, what is one designer you didn't initially have any interest in until you actually stitched one? <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you, and this is terrible. <clears throat> well, I kind of had an interest in it. I just never, never did it. Um, that would be Frosted Pumpkin. I thought that looking at the Frosted Pumpkins, um, they look very simple, very quick and easy. Um, it was just, it's just not my forte. It's not something that I ever thought I'd be interested in until I started seeing you guys do, 
um, the storybook sampler and the once upon a time sampler and the zodiac and all of them that there's I like the samplers they're really really cool I do like the samplers I'm not very interested in the smaller what are you doing are you can you see her she's chasing a fly or something can you guys see her in the window let's see if I can get them zoomed in get out of the way crazy what are you doing I'm just not gonna say anything now she's not gonna do anything now Okay, but anyway, <clears throat> so Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, uh, yeah, now now I, I like it, I'm interested, now that I have my first one that was gifted to me that was so sweet. Um, okay, number two, what is one designer that you cannot get in the groove on? It has to be one of the kits that I did um, for the Stitch Mania. It's a, it's a Jan Lynn kit. It's a Mockingbird. It's a Mockingbird. It's the Hummingbird kit. I do not like the way the stitches are set up or the way the graph is set up. It's very frustrating. I do not like the way the colors um, come together. I mean, I like the way the colors come together. It's looking pretty. <clears throat> but it's very frustrating the way they've got the back stitches set up um, because I want to stay in the lines around the object that I'm doing the back stitch on. But this is like going everywhere and it's just, it's killing me. It's like, oh, there should be half stitches or quarter stitches here. This is, uh, yes. Okay, so that, that's, yeah, Jen Lin kits. Of course, now this was from early 90s so they may have changed since then I don't know I just know that's one that I just I uh, just can't get the hang of it I, I can't wait to get it done and give it to a bird lover so, uh, uh, yeah because if I see it on my wall I'll just get frustrated and want to shoot it uh, <laughs> number three what is one chart you would love to see made and who would you like to to see design it I think I've done this tag I could be wrong. Uh, again, what is one chart you would love to see made? And who would you like to see design it? I'm not going to say heaven and earth. Only because... They have a lot of confetti. Um, and I would not want to stitch something with a lot of confetti. In fact, um, I have decided to go back and revamp my patterns because of that. Um, and try to group my colors together, uh, differently. So, let's see. Who would I like? Well, one chart I would like to see. I would like to see... The complete cast of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, now, when I say complete cast, I'm talking Magenta, Riff, Rocky, Dr. Frank Furter, um, Janet. <clears throat> I'm talking the whole cast just lined up or maybe stacked, you know, like in a portrait, like, like, um, a family portrait. Um, even, uh, the monster, which is, uh, played in the movie, it's played by, uh, Meatloaf. Uh, even him on his bike, that would be just awesome. Um, but yeah, that, that would be something I would save a lot of money and pay for. Um, who would I like to see design it? Stony Creek. No. Custom Crafts. It'd have to be either Custom Crafts or Stony Creek. Because Custom Crafts does a lot of, um, they do a lot of animals, but they do them dark. Um, 
like with flames and with, uh, I don't know, I think they would do a really good job to make it macabre um, and make it more, what's the word I'm looking for? Macabre is the closest word that I can think of. Um, yeah, so that's what I would like to see. I'd like to see the entire cast of Rocky Horror Picture Show done by Custom Crafts or Stone Creek. Yeah. That's what I'd like to see. Okay. So I did a copy tag. I'm going to go ahead and do D Stitcher's six month year in review. Um, from what I understand, when I saw her video, <clears throat> hi D. <laughs> if you watch my videos, hi D. Um, <clears throat> she did them to tell you what she did herself and then said that, you know, if you wanted to answer, she'd love to hear your answers. And then a lot of people start doing it. Um, so I thought, okay, well, I'll go ahead and, uh, it's only three questions, but they're thoughtful. And thank you, D, for putting this out there. Um, six months in review. There are only four questions. She says there's five and then puts a little message on her video that there's actually four. And she does link the, uh, she does, and I like it when you guys do that, when you make tags and you put the questions down below in your description box. The, that's awesome. Thank you so much for doing that, guys. <clears throat> I would like to make up a tag one day. My tag is going to be eclectic. It's going to be, um... I'm going to try to think of questions that nobody else has asked. And since I have gone back in history for the past year and a half and found some of the other tags, because um, if you guys know the history of tags, originally tags were, you would ask, you would answer a question and then you would tag somebody in your description box or in your video clip on who you wanted to do it next. Us in the floss tube community, it looks like the way we do our tags is we open it up to everybody, which is really cool. But the downside is, is there are so many of them out there now, and we our community is just exploding. We are finding more and more stitchers, which is amazing. I mean, it's awesome that we're doing this. <clears throat> um, but it's hard to to watch everybody. I mean, and what I do is, um, I have my tablet set up when I'm, like, when I'm working on my computer, when I'm doing some of my patterns, or when I'm job hunting, <laughs> which is what I'm still doing three months later. Um, I have my, my tablet beside me. It's a 10-inch widescreen tablet, and I have it on my easel. You guys have seen my easel. Um, and then I put my earbud in, and that's what I do. I just flip through and do all the, uh, listen to all the YouTube videos, and that's how I cope. Um, but that's how I catch up with what's going on and <clears throat> and then I start getting my stitchy bug and I get my creative bug going and the next thing I know I'm in my craft room. I'm sorting things around. I'm designing stuff. I'm stitching. I'm throwing kits together. <laughs> it's like it's four o'clock in the morning and I gotta get up at seven to take my daughter to the Y and then go job hunting. Um, so that's fun. So by the time now, because I think it's like a little after one Oh no, it's three o'clock. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm ready to go to bed. But I can't take a nap because if I take a nap, then I'll stay up all night again. It's a vicious cycle. Anyway, okay. So one more tag. I'm going to do D-Stitcher's tag. And um, this video uh, is a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. But we like each other, so it's okay. Uh, number one. Is the year going the way you thought? No. <laughs> I lost my job. <laughs> <clears throat> but I think she's talking about the stitching community. Uh, <laughs> and no, it's not. January, I was not expecting a stitch mania in May. Um, Garrett and Angie started it, and I am tickled to death to be part of that. Um, it really challenged me. So, not going the way I thought. Okay, so... I didn't do, I did more than I thought I would. I did more than I was expecting myself to do. Other than the job loss. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm doing more than, in, in as far as my crafting. I'm, because of the job loss, I have thrown myself more into YouTube. 
uh, if you haven't noticed lately. Um, I'm throwing myself more into YouTube. I'm throwing myself more into my crafting. Now, once I do find gainful employment, which I'm up for two jobs right now, um, I've, of course, I won't be doing this during the day. You know, everything will be done in the afternoon or in the evening or on the weekends. So, I'm not sure if either one of those will slow down. But for right now, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and trucking on as best I can. <clears throat> so, yeah, no, it's not going the way I thought. But it's, I mean, even with the downfall, I, I feel very blessed. Um, people have, have just touched me. Um, and it's amazing uh, what kind of generosity is out there. Um, so, we'll leave it at that. <clears throat> okay, number two. Have you learned anything new about yourself this year? Anything new about myself? Um, not really. Um, anything? Have you learned anything new about yourself this year so far? Because we're doing the six-month review. I have no... Not really. Um, I've always been the creative type, so that's nothing new um, as far as, like, throwing myself into my crafts or whatever. Because when I was a stay-at-home mom, of course, now I had my baby, but when I, when, when I was a stay-at-home wife with the first husband, uh, I got to do that. I was very blessed to be able to do that for four years, five years, while he was in the military. Um... And we traveled quite a bit during the 12 years he was in. So, um, I got to, I did a lot of crafting then. Um, so I'm not doing anything different that I did back then. Um, now that my daughter is older, I'm able to do more, obviously. Um, and I just have the one child, so I don't have to worry about the chaos or deal with the chaos that comes with more than one child. You guys know what I'm talking about. But no, I haven't really learned anything new about myself this year. Um, I take that back. Okay, so I've been unemployed for three months. Any other time in my... And being a single mom, it's scary. You know it's scary. Because you're thinking, where's my income going to come from? What happens when my unemployment runs out? <clears throat> what am I going to do? Um, I have found that... And, and some of you may not like this answer, but I'm sorry. I really don't care. <laughs> because... It's about me. <laughs> um, my faith in God has gotten stronger. And I found that I am seeing blessings where I didn't think there were blessings. Um, I, I'm finding prayers being answered. And I'm humbled. That's the word. I'm humbled. Um. Okay, so I'm going to go on with that because I'll start crying. Uh, number three, um, have you learned any new techniques this year? Yes. Um, stitching on linen. Never did that before. So to me, that, that may not be a technique, but... Um, um, I'm learning from you guys. I may not be putting anything into practice at the time. Um, the cubes. That was a new technique. Um, that was something new that I learned. Um, and it's funny because after I watched uh, Tara and Carolyn do the, the finishing on some projects, um, it was like light bulb went off. It's like, why didn't I think of that? Oh yeah, I've got books on that. And and didn't even realize that I have information on that stuff. Um, and that, that's what's uh, pretty fascinating to me. So uh, so yeah, so those are the new techniques. Um, learning how to do some finishes um, and learning how to work with even weave. I had never heard, well, that was last year. Never mind. Uh, number four, what do you hope to accomplish for the rest of the year? I'm going to finish this bag <laughs> that's my goal my goal is to finish this bag there are 30 whips in here um let's see if I can I don't know if you can see this or not right here let's see if I can zoom out 
Okay, so here is my stand that's got my daughter's portrait on it that I'm going to do. Um, and then we have behind it, I oh, can't see it, but behind it is, uh, I know this is a Noah's sub. I don't expect to get either one of those finished um, because they are very detailed. Um, but I do plan to finish everything in that. I say everything in that bag. I'm trying to think. That's my goal. <laughs> I don't know if I'll accomplish it. We do know <laughs> that we are going to finish this. We are going to finish this because these are the two things that I'm kind of mainly working on right now. Um, I am not one to have a lot of whips at one time. I think the most projects I've ever had going at one time are maybe three, four tops. Um, but right now I have like, I want to say 36 or 37. So I'm going to two, three, four, five because over here is my insect sampler. So there's five out in the open. I've got three in my green bag. Um, and then I've got 30 down there. So yeah, almost 40 whips. Um, nowhere near the stash queen, but yeah. Oh, oh, and I didn't, I didn't get to show you this. Oh, this was for the orange is black. Orange is the new black. I forgot to show you guys this. Okay, let's see. Can you see it? It's on 22 count. I'm doing it two over two. I kind of wished I'd done three over two to get better coverage on it. Let's see if I can get that closer. Yeah. That's one of the cats. Um, so I did start this. And of course I finished the season way before I got to finish that. And I forgot I had this in here. Um, and I don't have the pattern in here. It's in the other room. So yeah, I have the orange is the new black. The... the Halloween cats, and I'm going to put a spider web up in the corner. Um, but yeah, on that, I forgot about that. Um, not too happy with the coverage on this. I don't know. Let me see if I can get you closer. If you can see. Yeah, see, the coverage on that is not what I really want. There's going to be some back stitching, I think, but... I've got to fill in the rest in black, but I don't think, I don't want to really rip it out, but I think I might just do the one cat and do it maybe as a, as a plaque or a book cover, and then use the rest of the material to do one over one on the 22 count. I think that's what I'm going to do. I, I, some of my other project I've done two over one on the 22 count. It gets a little bulky on the Ada. I want to say this is Ada. It may be an even weave, but it looks, I can't really tell. It's more of a hard anger. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do um, on that. Sorry, didn't mean to, I meant to throw that in my whips. I hope you guys are watching far enough to where you could see that on my whips. But anyway, so that's it. Um... We did coffee stitchers tag. We did these stitchers tag, which is a newer tag. And then I've got uh, about six or seven more to do. So, <laughs> so far Anyway, so that's it. Um, let's see if I can get you zoomed in. Ah, there we go. Um, I'm going to... Hey, yeah, I can move you. Um, you can see over there. So there's, there's my other stuff in my stash. So let me pan you around the room. That's some of Maddie's colorings that she's done over the years. And then there's the stack that I was telling you about that the cat got on. <clears throat> but anyway, ooh, I'll make you seasick. This camera does come with a stabilizer on it, which is really cool. So I can, yay. Okay, I'm watching you in my camera, my, my remote. <laughs> Anyway, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Those of you who followed me through, I appreciate it. Thank you for all my subscribers. I think I'm up to like almost 600 now. I'm just a few away. Awesome. Uh, it, it, again.
and feeling blessed. It just blows me away. Um, I am going to do something special for August, so stay tuned for that. I will be mentioning it again. August is my birthday month, so in my shop I'm going to give a huge discount, and it's going to be just awesome. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got, I think. So I guess I will see you next time. Uh, peace out.